Hello everyone and welcome to the channel, it's the Eradicator and in this video we will be talking about one of the new features of Star Citizen of 3.13.1 and these are the trade alerts and this is I think an attempt of CIG to try to fix trade, trade has been broken for quite a few patch, people have been complaining that trading is just not as profitable as before and it's just impossible to fill an entire cargo hold full of the minerals or commodities that are scattered around the verse but with this new app here from the Moby Glass CIG is trying to help uh, to traders or people who just enjoy flying from one place to another to fill their cargo hole and make a profit so we are going to see if it works today and with 3.30.1 come some new commodities which I don't know if are exclusive to the Invictus fleet launch week or if these commodities are going to stay afterwards I hope that they are going to stay because it's going to bring extra diversity we got some helium we got construction materials audiovisual materials souvenirs fireworks and some of them are less profitable than barrel which was the least profitable type of commodity that we had before some of them are quite more decent like helium for example and that is what we are going to trade today so for that how do we figure out where to buy helium well it's very simple you need to check out the, the app here and you are going to have to check overstock sale and here we're going to see that for example there is a place where there are uh, there's a lot of helium and that is going to be SMO10. Now where is SMO10? It's one of the outposts on Microtech. So that's where we'll be going first and then we'll be checking out as well where there are places where there is an understock purchase which is where they're going to buy the helium and uh, hopefully this is going to guarantee uh, that they are going to buy the entire hole. So we're going to go to SMO10 as you can see here on the footage. I'm pretty happy with my uh, landing this time finally right? <laughs> it's not easy to make a good landing with the C2 Hercules. So of course I'm using a C2 Hercules because the C2 Hercules has got 696 SC of cargo capacity. Helium is not an expensive commodity so that means that even if you are making about 10 to 15 percent you are still not going to make a lot of money. I'm probably going to make about uh, 30,000 of IUC. We'll be checking out later that of course but uh, if you are using a smaller ship, uh, like for example a Freelancer Max or even uh, for example, uh, a Freelancer or a Constellation, then maybe you are going to want to be going for some of the higher tier commodities, obviously, because then Helium is, not ju just, is just not going to be worth it. And so, normally, when we go to these places, from my experience over the past couple of patches, it was just impossible to fill an entire cargo of those commodities. But here, yes, it seems that it did work. There was indeed an overstock, a surplus here of helium because I was able to fully fill the cargo hole here of this C2 Hercules. So that was great news. Now, where do we go after? Well, same, you go to your Moby Glass and you check out where there is an understock here of uh, these uh, of the helium. And it looks like not far from here, there is going to be Port Tressler. Port Tressler is the station that orbits planet Microtech. So it's just going to take a little while to go there. And that that is great because remember when you are trading time is money you want to be spending as little time as possible flying your ship you want to be making as much money as possible so if you can buy and sell your commodities within a short distance that's when you are going to make the most money which is why we're definitely going to go to Port Tressler here since it is a place where they are going to buy that helium and we're going to check out if indeed we are going to be able to sell all of that helium now, that will be a first because usually those stations in the past were quite infamous for not buying a lot of commodities usually just uh, a couple of uh, a couple of uh, dozen uh, SCUs and that was pretty much it so yeah. if they buy all of the helium here that I have in my cargo hold that would be a big surprise but at the same time it would also make sense because if you remember a couple of patches ago they made a big deal out of those new uh, out of those new um, trade extensions you know the cargo areas of those stations and Port Tresler is one of the stations that do have those new cargo areas so let's hope that they are going to make good use of them and to sell that helium you need to go to the admin as always it is at the Galeria and here we go let's have a look here see if they are buying all of that helium and yes they do and as expected a profit of about 30,000 of uh, UEC and that was not bad I spent 18 minutes doing that trade run here so 30,000 uh, alpha UEC for 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 18 minutes in space and flying around is actually 
quite decent. You can do about three of those in an hour, which makes 90,000 of IQC. Now, people are going to say, Lady Rad, we can make so much more with bounty hunting. Yes, that's true, but not everybody is a combat player. Not everybody wants to be fighting all the time. And just flying from one place to another can be quite relaxing. And on top of that, with 30,000 of IUEC, you can still pay someone else to be flying another ship. I have a second C2 Hercules, for example. If I pay 30% of the profit, that would have made uh, the pilot a good 10 thousand of IUEC for 80 minutes and flying somebody else's ship and somebody else's cargo with no risk involved that's actually not bad well I hope that this was uh, informative for you guys but don't forget that this month I got a giveaway as I'm giving away $75 in RSI gift cards $25 thanks to Buzz69 all you have to do is to subscribe to this channel and answer the giveaway question guys uh, is this going to make you trade a little bit more do you think that this app is the answer to fixing trade let me know in the comment section down below also for the supporters of the channel via patreon or the join button membership i have a cyclone mt with lifetime insurance you guys should have access to my discord channel it is going to be right there i'll see you guys tomorrow for more content on the channel as always this is the eradicator i'll see you guys later this video is brought to you by the people who support this channel on Patreon and via the join button as well. Supporters of the channel get access to lots of cool perks such as access to my private Discord, your question answered in the show, you get to know when I'm going to play, and also, you get to have a chance to influence the editorial line of the channel. Any help is appreciated, starts as just a dollar a month. Thank you very much for watching, this is The Eradicator, and I'll see you guys later.